Spin on the top. Down to my knees almost. I was definitely to insecure. Time to shave it. Seven or eight year long journey. Time to shave it. Dude, eight years. Those were was some pretty, pretty serious dreads, man. Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's true. They they had, were growing for so long. I think this is a good point to sort of begin the story. I haven't had a haircut in eight years. I had started some dreadlocks like a million years ago and they just kept growing and growing. And I think around like three or four or so years into them growing, my hair started like thinning. I was actually touring with a band on the road for like 14 days. Like at this time, I still had like a lot of hair, no like obvious bald spots or anything, but uh, noticing like one of the roots of one of the dreadlocks is like so thin. And I was like, what? How does this happen? Like, why is it so thin by the root like this thing could like snap off like what the heck that was like the first time it sort of entered my mind is like huh like i guess it must be falling out like from the root like that's weird excuses sort of thing like oh you wear a hat too much or oh it just looks funny from this angle for me i was constantly getting that oh your hair's falling out because your dreads like oh the weight of your hair mm. is like pulling it and this and that and in the back of my mind i knew like all my grandparents have been bald my dad right. is bald i was like this is probably something i'm gonna have to face at some point at this time i think it was like 25 26 maybe right. i just didn't know what to make of it at the time like my partner who i was living with they were like yeah your hair is everywhere all over the apartment i was like oh yeah people you know hair shedding and whatever like it yeah. still wasn't very obvious to me that hair was falling out from that point on that was the entrance of the confrontation of like okay what exactly is happening up here i don't really know that sort of led me to to jump ahead several years and coming to terms with like yeah, I can like feel some skin up here, you know, like starting to kind of feel funny asking closer friends like, all right, like how bald am I actually like what's going on in that moment that first time where you like take a picture of the top of your head or like somehow, you know, look into the mirror and be like, oh, like, I guess it is sort of going now, isn't it? I tried Rogaine for like a month. It was just an absolute pain. And I was like, this isn't even going to make any sense. Like at that point, my hair had been like eight years of growth. I was like, if I'm starting mm. over from the scalp, like there's no way that that's going to work. That basically brings me to y'all's channel. All right, here I am. Some hair. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm down to my knees almost. Shitty and working real thin on the top. All right, it's time to do it. Time to shave it. Seven or eight year long journey. Time to shave it.
basically my major obstacle mm. to commit to like actually shaving my head was like I had this notion that that I couldn't look like everyone else who shaves their head I was like oh you got to be like tall dark and handsome or really fit or like really chiseled or like you know I can't look like that I can't be like the you know shaved head guy but seeing all the people on your channel I was like oh wow like everyone who does this just like looks so much better like other features become so defined they look strong and I didn't think I could make that transition seeing everybody on your channel do it I was like oh wow like I could do that I felt similarly I was like yeah how can I make this look better you know, and very frequently I was tying it up and sort of like early on of what I would call like the end period, like where it was like very obvious to everyone. I didn't want to be that guy who was like trying to hide it. I would wear like a beanie a lot of the times, you know, it's just like mm -hmm. a ski cap or whatever. And it covers everything. And then you take it off and like, oh, oh, I see you're like wearing that to hide that and I didn't really want to deal with that at all I took like the opposite approach like as it was starting to go I did like everything in my power to not hide it at all like mm -hmm. I looked better with a hat on but I would just very intentionally not either way you're perceived as someone who's like losing their hair right so mm -hmm. it really it doesn't matter what approach you go I think it's called diffusion right is it mm, yeah yeah like, as that really started it was just like as I was tying it back it would get real tight along the scalp and you just see these long strips of like mm. I was definitely insecure you know anytime I'd be like bending down or like exposing the top of my head, I would feel like I don't look good I'm 31 now like I was like am I having a hard time becoming 30 you know that sort of thing just feeling like who am I trying to pretend to be all of that kind of stuff to be perfectly honest in between certain periods of my life where I was single thinking like you know if I meet up with anyone hook up with anyone like they're gonna see a totally different side of my head you know at some point that's sort of an embarrassing realization to have you know if it's hidden and then you become attracted and someone's attracted to you and then it's a reveal you know it's like oh yeah so I was very insecure about like trying to date or trying to talk to anyone like that or that awkward reveal you know I want to ask you then about getting to the moment where you were like I'm done let's let this go I definitely would say it's a combination of both inspirations feeling like I don't like having to deal with this so let me change it. I was inspired seeing all the people who have done it, the transformative feeling of, you know, just like when you engage a change, like you are a different person. I think it was someone watched on your channel as like a physical trainer or something. That was it. It begets other positive transformations. Like you take control of this scenario that you don't have control of. You do the change that you're been sort of waiting to do and then from that point on like it's inspiring I suffer with depression and stuff and like making a change like this is definitely like manifested other ways of like taking better care of myself and sort of like being inspired like oh yeah I can just do this and like, just change it you know that's sort of the the way I was motivated I definitely had decent support people I would talk to about it like oh yeah you're gonna look fine you're gonna look great with it like that and you know having other like sort of catalysts that were helping me go along with it and I probably talked about it for like three weeks I kept sort of putting it off I was like I'm gonna do it this night or I'm gonna do it this night or you know that sort of thing but then uh woke up one day and was ready to do it and just didn't get in my own way I was like all right I'm doing it I remember seeing a couple of videos on your page too is like you know typically they start with the guard on and then mm. go from like what like a four three two one I was like I'm not gonna do that and then as soon as I started like okay six, <laughs> Put six on. and it was like started with that and then I don't know if you see the I whole video it. but there's yeah. there's so many troubleshooting problems yeah. yeah so I did the exact thing I didn't think I would I, I literally went so many different guard sizes down all the way to one by the time I hit one I feel like I came back into myself feel like oh nice this worked out really well <laughs> Um, with that said, there's so many ways that I have sort of delayed the inevitable because my longest dread, mm. it was like three that sort of like tree trunked down into one big one in the back of my head. And I think in the video that's, I cut that one off specifically towards the end and hold it up. It's like super long, but mm. uh, I was like rationalizing in my head, like keeping that one, like shaving everything else, having this like kind of radical weirdo haircut but 
uh, ultimately I just cut that off too. I think it was just like ways to prolong the inevitable. Have you been out there to show it off and, and meet people? Yeah, yeah, actually awesome. I have. I was so excited, in fact, to like show the people. I'm a part-time student and I work in a coffee shop and, you know, awesome, I have a ton yeah. of regulars and stuff. And that gave me like a little bit of anxiety, but also not. And I've been telling them I was going to do it for forever. So I was really excited just like get back out there and show them I did it, get their response. They all loved it. It feels good. It feels really good to get back out and just see everybody and they all get it too they're like nice as far as like a send-off and like anybody who sees this and can relate to it i would say go for it really like you'd be surprised that it's going to pretty much work for you like it, i know everyone has their apprehensions for different reasons about like whether or not they look good with like super short hair or bald or whatever but it feels so good like you'd be surprised like how adaptable your look is i didn't think i would look good like this but i'm so happy with it and the list goes on and on and on honestly like having short hair is so nice like i can feel everything so much easier and like move my head around my hair's not getting in my way like showering so easy a ton of reasons to do it even beyond like looking better i for the longest time doubted that i could do it and then i did it and i'm so happy appreciate you dude you too man right back at you